Used to play with U Xuan Yi. They've got two World Tour titles. The Vietnam Open was with Tan Chiang. And the US Open a few years before that with U Xuan Yi. So quality all round. It's just they haven't played together before. And that will be a uh, pretty steady start to the week. That walkover against very impressive Choi Sogyu and Kim Won Ho. We saw Kim earlier in the mixed doubles, so it must be Choi who's suffering some injury right now. This is Rasmus Kea from Gloucester up in Denmark, a suburb of Copenhagen. 27 in the rankings. That might be going up pretty soon after uh, the results from last week come through. I'm not sure if they've hit the world rankings just yet. In the semi final in uh, Vanta just outside Helsinki. And his partner, Frederick Sogard from Newborg. Not too far away from here, actually, in central Denmark. Now lives and trains in uh, Ulaslev and Funen. And that is one of the best pairs in the world. They outclassed yesterday Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang. 67 minutes it took. Ready. What a match. Continuing their fine form of late. That's Seamus Halpin, our chair umpire for this match. And Mikael Furidal from Norway is our service judge. Wouldn't exactly say it's your uh, forte, Kirsty men's doubles, but um, it's badminton. You like a bit of doubles? Exactly, yeah. I've played some doubles in my time. I, I know a thing or two. <laughs> I'm sure you do. A lot more than most. <laughs> if you're going to ask me how Sogard and Kier managed to beat uh, the number two seeds yesterday, I didn't catch the match, so um, I can't comment upon that. <laughs> but they must have played rather well. They have been playing well of late. And those two will be thrilled with Ladies that prospect, and gentlemen, no doubt. On my right, Rasmus Kier and Frederick Suga of Denmark. And on my left, He Xi Ping and Ren Xiang Yu, China. Ren Xiang Yu to serve to Rasmus Kier. Love all. Play. Well, the fascinating thing for me, the interest piece for me, is how well this Chinese pair can gel together. I've seen quite a lot of uh, Kier and Sogar play lately. Very, a bit like um, Kim and Anas, you know, their teammates who are doing so well as well. Well organised, attack properly and with pace. But this Chinese pair, they could be the best we've ever seen. They could be all over the place. I've no idea. OK, a bit of a mixed bag. Yeah. OK. But I think it's impressive how much quality they've managed to uh, bring to the table with different partners. That has to be commended in itself. But maybe there's a kind of settling in period for, for this particularly particular pairing. Sogard and Kier are very much the more established you know, in time uh, pairing. Yes. Three love. In terms of time spent on court together. Absolutely. Sogar breaks a string in defence. I mean, I, I'm, I'm only guessing here, but the Chinese have got two pairs above this pair in the world rankings, pushing on for Olympic qualification being one of the main jobs this year. I guess they've accepted the fact that these two aren't going to make it, so let's put them together and see how they get on. Yeah. Become another dominant Chinese pair. Absolutely. And it does take a few years, so clearly China are trying to get the combinations Four, correct. Love. Um, and like we say, there might be a settling in period. But, I mean, ha they've had some good success so far, this pair. Smash winner straight through Rasmus Kett. Perfect start. Yeah, I feel like already in this game, the, the initiative is with he and Ren.
but they will have to be careful on that back line. I think today the, the shuttle is flying a little faster towards where we sit and watch the game. This back line. It's a good leave, wasn't it? Well judged. Early signs of pressure in the mind of Frederick Sogard. The margins on serving in men's doubles have to be so tight. To have a good serve is important. Six, one. I always find it interesting with um, doubles or singles, just when a, a lower ranked player or pair has a, has a big win, can they do it again in the next round. Yeah. What does that do to them psychologically? Oh, knocked Seven. off well by Ren Chang Yu. Wow. Seven, one. Like lightning onto the net here. It was actually a relatively decent quality shot from... Yeah, he didn't take it too far below the net, did he? Out. Service over. Two, seven. We're quite often talking doubles about the service situation. And it being so important, the first, the first, first three, four, yeah, three, first. four or five shots. Yeah. So much can be set up for the rest of the rally in that space. It can be almost unappreciated, I think, for people that aren't at your kind of level watching this. Because it's hard to see exactly what's happened in the, in probably 1.5 seconds. Yeah, there's a lot happening. <laughs> it's where you place that serve, it's how uh, much pressure you apply to that serve. It's what, how the return comes in. Another big cross smash winner. Again, going across the body of Kerr. Yeah, really into that. Created a big steep angle here. Down that right hand side. That's superb from so Sogard. Kenneth Jonsson on the right there. Sitting back, I think allowing co coach to take the lead in this one. Nice. Oh, that is lovely. Nice. Well, he's got some racket skills himself, Rasmus Kea. Two shots here. Straight out of the top draw. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good plan for them going forward. It's not, they'll have to use power to, to force the Chinese pair back, but I think it'll be finding these spaces, these little cross court turns. Hey! So that's a good reset. Service over. Nine, five. It is, maybe a touch high the serve. He was quick onto the return though, wasn't he? Mm. Yeah. So much of doubles. Well, so much of singles too, increasingly in the in recent times. So much of badminton, shall I say, is set up or won from the net. And there he goes again, oh, yeah. Sogard. He did the right thing. Service over. But I completely agree. And I, Ten, equally, six. we've watched a lot of Kim Astrup and Anas Rasmussen lately. And Astrup, being that four-court player, trying to take the shuttle as early as possible and then make himself big, get in the way, just disrupt whatever comes back, and 
these two trying to do the same thing. Yeah. Power in the uh, wrist of Herji Ting. That backhand drive going through Kea. Well, the new combination seem to have no worries at all so far. 11 6 at the mid game interval. But signs of a fight back, perhaps. From the two Danes. But we have to really, really, really rock these things here. Og så skal vi være klar, hver gang komme ned til hele ting i den der baghånd, så kommer der tryk. Og det er tit gennem midten. Også når vi spiller her, der spiller vi om en i OK og tur. Men så trykker han selv ned fra Vi skal op med den ske foran her. God ryg til sidst her, kære Heng. Hold roen i skeen deroppe. Specielt når de spiller hurtigt. Det er OK, når de spiller langsomt, så de kan godt komme med far. So back to the action, 11-6 with Ren Shang Yu on serve. A couple of pointers from the coaches there, Kirsty. You're pretty good at Danish. What, um, what was all that about? Oof. No, you're asking. It's my sixth year at Danish club, and I can't say my Danish has improved much. But I think, yes, that's nice. Again, it's not the power, it's the placement on that net. Seven. And I think there was mention of backhand being a bit more ready down that side um, and being ready in the midcourt and for the speed that's going to come at you. Yeah, we saw those couple of rallies before the interval just came in sharp at the net or in the midcourt. Yeah, I don't think the Chinese pair are going to take the pace off and play kind of um, slow shots to the net. So the Danes really have to be ready for them to step in. Oh, good defense. Oh, yeah. Service over. That was correct. Just a Twelve, little matter of execution. Seven. Yeah. I think he put that straight on the racket of rent. Oh, no, just... Should be finishing that. Should Not be. finishing, but it shouldn't be an error, that one. Yeah. Timing's not quite there at the moment. Yeah, after that, care. after that push, that racket has to be directly up. It's, uh, it sounds like such a simple thing, but in doubles, racket carriage is Everything. of utmost importance. Yeah. Oh, they'll take that. Yeah, good leave from Ren Sheng Yu. He and Ren are doing a very good job of making Kieran Sogard lift and putting themselves in a, an attacking position. Which I'd like to see the Danes do a little bit more of. I feel like they haven't had the, much of an attacking run. Good leave. Despite being a new pairing, they look quite experienced, the Chinese pair. For young, well, youngish guys, I expected a little bit more. Wow, what a shot. Lovely. Good turn on that defence. Finding that little gap. 10, 14. Just given enough time to turn that shuttle. Yeah. Yeah, I expected a little bit more disruption between the two Chinese, or not quite as solid in certain areas, but they've been fantastic so far. Yeah, they seem to know what they're doing. Service over. 15, 10. Oh, 
brave from Sogard. Getting the better of Hergi Ting. I think he has to be. Yeah. I think that's so correct. I think playing safe here or you know, not taking these chances is is not the, the not the way to win this. You have to be bold on those net exchanges. I mean, it's perfectly placed, but yep. in doubles, I quite often think you would you would rather both of you went for the shuttle than neither of you. Yeah, absolutely, because somebody will pull out in the last second. <laughs> I think uh, most of them just uh, stopped in their tracks. Yeah. Gets the reward again. It's a little change of pace from the attacking shot there from Kier. But yeah, that's nice. defense taking away the time that Sogard had on the shuttle just steps in yeah and that's the counter 12. shot it doesn't look like much but just to have that step in and time to hold and push yeah that was the one actually Superb. Turning that round. We're on in the game. With a big cross smash, and then there's been a couple of little wow. errors. They so can get rid of that. They've got a chance, but at the moment. This new Chinese pairing look like the real deal. Again, we can hear that they're up 19, for this. 12. Despite being away from home and despite Kerr and Sogar with the crowd behind them, it feels like the Chinese pair are the ones with all the body language and shouts. They just seem more positive, don't they? Yeah, a little bit. I think owed to the fact that they're kind of they're winning little points like this. They know that. The Danes are struggling to find the, the touch on these wow. ones, and yeah, the momentum is definitely with he and Ren right now. Well, it's game point, and they've got eight to spare. Oh. That's wide. Service over. 13, 20. Good neutraliser back yeah. to middle. Lovely shot from Kea. Yeah, just taking the pace off that one. 20. 
shaping up for a smash, full extension, and then just cuts across it. Really nice. I want to see that continue into game two, despite the outcome of the first, which looks reasonably uh, much of a foregone conclusion at some stage. Yeah. They're fighting hard, though. Well worked. I don't think the, the games are doing anything particularly 20. wrong here. It's just a matter of execution. Exactly right. And I want to see a little bit more confidence, particularly from Kea. Those shots he's got, that's what really helped him last week do so well in Finland. Yeah, I think so much in men's doubles especially is presence and just to have the, to be to be bold enough to kind of to use the net. It takes a lot of confidence to almost literally go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone at the net. Well, he tried. Yeah. And, he, and you can't fault the effort because it's exactly what we're looking for. The opening game, Ren Shan Yu, Heji Ting, full of confidence and dominating this one at this stage. 18 minutes gone, 21-15 the score. Og så lige pt, så tænk på, at de spiller langt mere endo, end de spiller kineserballe lige nu her. Det er, kun, det er kun faktisk, når vi sætter rigtig meget fart i, der kommer fart tilbage. Ellers så ligger de og skubber forbi og sådan noget. Den sidste duel her, eller næst sidste duel her, hvor du fanger den på hegnet, må godt ligge og være lidt klar på, at de spiller forbi os, så vi lige får straffet lidt. Og så hvis de spiller foran, så må vi smide den op. Vi er egentlig kommet OK ud af, når vi får ro på det. Ikke? Ja, de Nej. Når vi først får den op, så slår vi en god ned foran. Det mest det, det er det her. Lad os få noget mør på og noget gejst på og komme afsted her i det her. Okay. Så lægger de ned mellem, og så må vi sige, hvis det er sådan, at vi føler, at det bliver meget der, så må vi smide den første væk, hvis det er det. Det er virkelig kommet ok ud af det. Men det vigtigste er, at det vi træder skridt frem og det blok på, og så skal vores krydsmand være max klar. Hver gang de har chancen, så går de kryds, så kommer netmanden ind, så går den kryds over på den anden. De ligger hele tiden og slår dem her, der vores netmand skal lige halvt skridt længere frem og være klar her. Kom så, boys! Change of ends then for game two. Oh, service fault right off the bat. I think that might be the first service fault I've seen today, and still. Not a single challenge on court two, and we're into, well, at least halfway through, or at least a third of the way through, match number three. Brilliant. Nice. Yeah, my umpire told me that there was instant review on this court when I played, so I would hope that all umpires are notifying the players. Um, but yeah, like you say, we've not seen a single challenge thus far. There haven't been that many, actually, that have been that close. But there's been a... I would have expected a few on some of the calls we've seen. Anyway. Oh, that is terrific. He read that. So easily. Two. Oh. Got in the right position with this racket up. Here's your ting here. Down in the middle. Yeah. Needed a bit more pace, I think, from uh, Kea. So. That's a cheeky serve. Three, two. Well, the service judge, Michael Dahl, called the uh, high serve earlier in this game. 
few points ago. That one, nothing wrong with it. Despite the complaints from the Danes. Have a play from Sogard. Chinese neutralised that attack once again. Wow. Four, two. Yeah, the Danes did well there to to cover the middle that they got caught on a couple of rallies ago. But then it just takes one one smash from the Chinese to to bleed an error. Didn't look quite ready enough for me, Kaya in defence. Feet were. Quite static. Oh! Five, two. Shot in the wrong place, didn't he, Kea? The whole Six. right side was open. I could see what he was trying to do, but uh, Ren was ready, too ready for it. To go back across could be the right... There's the whole court, left side was open. Yeah. Overthinking things, perhaps. Possibly. Oh. They survived well, but they're so quick, quick. The Chinese players, yeah, an onslaught. Karen Sogard struggling to keep up with this pace. Might need something a little special here. He's done it again. Yeah. That man ran all over the net. Eight, two. The slightest opportunity to push forwards. Look how quickly he comes in here. Yeah, he's the player that's come across the court there, I think. Yeah. Perhaps the Danes expected he to follow that shot up. Oh! Nine, two. Momentum building for these two. And it's tough, Kirsty, isn't it? I mean, they've been on a good run of form. They did well abroad, so to speak, still in Scandinavia last week. And now you're at your home event, a bigger event. There's that weight of expectation. Did that help you? Did you find it easier to play in Scotland? And I'm not talking about jet lag and comfort food. And I'm talking about the environment, the crowd. Would you prefer to play at home for that reason? I think I've had some of my best performances in, in my... Scottish Open and Commonwealth Games and the World Champs that have all been in, in Scotland. Um, yeah, I, I just love feeling that, like, wave of positivity behind you. Oh, he's missed. Oh, challenge, our first challenge of the day. Excellent. <laughs> I'm just pleased that somebody's made a challenge. I think it was Heji Ting, was on the floor. The whole court behind him was open. The line judge says this one was long. Wee. Challenge. Doesn't get much closer. Well, they've been 100% today, the line judges. Three men. 11, two. Yep. Trust your line judges. <laughs> Doing a good job. <laughs> As in, we've had one challenge. <laughs> yeah. 11-2, <laughs> the game score. 
de spiller også sådan, som vi skal spille dem, men de er bare gode til at placere. De pakker helt vildt ind her. Hver gang vi spiller ned i mellembanen, så spiller de hurtigt over den anden side, og så rykker de på os på hegnet her, ikke? Så vi må prøve, prøve at have en overspænding med. Men det vidste, vi... Overspænding er så lidt mere at bide i vores mand. Det skal ikke ja, ja. være tryk, det skal ikke være flyttet, de der. Præk, og så, og så det her. Vi, må vi ja. prøve at stemme det lidt ud. Ja. Men når det så bare med at spille den her prik, så skal han selv med frem. Ja, ja den skal ikke drejes væk fra ham, der kommer. Og, ja, ja. og så skal vi begge to trykke fremad. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. I understood one word from that break, and it was truck, and it's only because I've seen it on the door on the way in here, and it was push. Push. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, superb. We carry on where we left off. 12, 2, Yes. This uh, Danish pair now 10 points adrift. I think he and Ren are doing such a good job of gaining the attack and the initiative, but also keeping it. I think there are little spells where Solgard and Kier find themselves with the initiative, but they're unable to take advantage and, and punish it. And they're, all, they're also struggling to keep it for any more than two or three shots. Well, that was a very ass more like it. Talk about taking the initiative. Yes. And again, Sogar was the one that played the push, but it was his partner that stepped forward. Need to be assertive. Good serve. Wow. Backhand clear. Return of serve. And gets away with it. Just long from Kea. Again, down the middle. Just not covering those spaces no. enough. If he pushes hard from the mid-court there. He has to cover straight drive, and Kea needs to cover the cross drive, but he seems stranded in the mid-court. Yeah. Stranded at the net. Same again. Same again. There's a loose shot in there somewhere. 16, I think Sogard either, either needs to bring it into the middle or get it dropping below tape, but yeah. that's a very big ask. Yeah. So I think maybe direct these that push in the middle of the Chinese more, and it will close the gap between the Danes. Can take the pace off as well, I think. Yeah. Or he has that option at least. It was a very technical sounding discussion at the mid-game interval. Well, these two are playing with so much confidence. They're turning the Danish attack into their own. They're staying on the attack when they need to. And now, playing with this kind of freedom. 17-3. It doesn't feel like that's the scoreline. I feel like there has, there has been good rallies, good battles going on. Um, it's just the cruel nature of, uh, of badminton. You don't get points for playing good badminton. You actually have to, you know, seal off those those rallies too. Well, he's missed. But yet again, yeah. third or fourth time we've seen that same shot pattern come up. Exactly. Dealt with that net card well. And there's a communication error there between those two because Sogar keeps playing that backhand drive down the line and Kea is not in a position to take on pace. I think at this point, 
the Danes just need to go all in yeah. with whatever they're going to do. Confidently, yeah. just try and take something on. Hey! The Denmark Open slipping away. So guard, Kea. Oh. That's a shame. That's a shame. That was a great shot as well. Max point. Five. A late call here from the line judge. Says it was out. Sets up yeah. match points. Oh. Okay. First time of asking the return into the net. Complete dominance from Ren Xiangyu and He Ting. The surprise combination. Too early to say, it might be China's answer to men's doubles in the future. Confident performance. And easing their way into the men's doubles quarterfinals tomorrow. Straight games in just 33 minutes, 21-15, 21-5. More mixed doubles action coming up in a few moments. Terrific matchup as well. Pua Varanuko of Taratana Shai taking on Chen and Toa of Malaysia. Stay with us. Welcome back to the round of 16 here at the 2023 Denmark Open. Dominance from Heji Ting, Ren Xiang Yu in that last men's doubles. We turn our attention to mixed doubles once again. The number five seeds, the former number one pair in the world. Deshapal Pua Varanukro, Sapsiri Tera Tanachai. And they're taking on the up and coming Malaysians, Shen Tangji and To Yi Wei. Well, it's possibly the toughest section of the mixed doubles draw here with top seeds Zhang and Huang proving their worth yesterday, coming back against the newlyweds Greg and Jenny Mayers. Desha Pulse up series might be favourites on paper for this match. Chen and To are in great.